right, Chef Buck here, and today we're making some coffee. Because Camera Girl, on the way home, she made us get some pecan sandwich. <laughs> In fact, she ate most of these on the hey, way hey, home. Hey, 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 hey. Coffee's gonna be ready. Boom! Pretty lickety split, because we make a uh, French press. You know, you can be like a coffee geek, you can get like a burr grinder and a scale and a wax for your mustache and a golf hat and make your coffee that way. You know, if that's if that's your hobby, then that's fine. But I mean, I mean show us what you do, coffee's man. Coffee's subjective. It does, it does, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. But French press is super easy to make. You know, the key to a great cup of coffee is uh, using whole beans. You want to use whole beans and grind them up. And you know, we got all these beans. You know, some of them some of them are better than others. I like the Kona. You know, you figure out the kind of beans you want. Experiment. That's what's going to make the difference. I'm going to use, boom, what do I got in here? I think I got 24 ounces of coffee. So that's going to be like uh, 12 ounces a piece. And I'm going to heat my coffee up, you know, put it in there, boom, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. That's water. That's, that's very ambitious of you, but you called that water coffee twice. Did I? Yeah. Okay, well, water. It's water. <laughs> It's water, about 24 ounces. And I'm going to uh, measure my beans in here. But you know, I'm not going crazy measuring them. Don't it, go cray cray. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it, of course it matters, but it's subjective. You know, some beans are stronger than others. You know, how they're prepared, how they're roasted is going to make all the difference. Your own personal taste. So, you know, you can do it, you know, like uh, one tablespoon you or, can you know, it. way weigh your grinds and weigh your water and get it mathematically precise and you know so that it can fly to the moon you know if that's your thing that's fine but it's i don't know i mean i i i'm more scattershot than that and it works and it's and if you were drinking my coffee compared to someone else's coffee you would say it's just a great cup of coffee you know it's going to taste good because we're using we're, we're going to grind our own beans so I'm going to do like, uh, I usually do like one tablespoon like this for every four ounces of water, just in general, you know, before it's ground, you know, cause I'm not going to grind it and then measure it, you know, no cause then way. I'm going to have leftover ground coffee. Wow. How many, how many of these did I do? Two. Two, three, four, five, six. So six times four is 24. So boom, there you go. Plus. One, one to grow one. one for the kitty because we like our coffee a little bit strong. I'm gonna grind my beans. This is what I got here. I just got a little uh, grinder. I don't have a burr grinder. The key is you don't want your coffee to be ground fine. And you're gonna filter. You know, you're gonna push this down the coffee in the grounds and blah blah blah. So you want to make sure that your coffee isn't so fine that it's gonna become a big. Uh, a murky coffee swamp. So you want Ooh. this here to be able to catch all the grinds. I'm just going to take my little grinder here and I'm just gonna go. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. That was plenty long enough. Then I'm gonna turn it upside down, you know, beat my machine like that, and there you have it. Alrighty, see now there, I got a few big chunks in there, you know, but that's not the end of the world. You know, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's not going to matter if they're all uniform. Who cares? You know, I'm just going to steep this in some hot water. It's big enough to where it's, it's going to be caught, you know, it's going to be sifted out, you know, through the filter. That's it. It doesn't have to be all uniform. If you want to get a little expensive burr grinder, do it and make them all exact same size, you know, and then you want to count each individual one, you know, so that you can go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and not be stressed out about it. I mean, we've all got our compulsions, mm. but this isn't mine, and my coffee is still going to be as good as anybody else's coffee. I don't care what kind of uh, beard or hat you're wearing. So the key is fresh ground coffee and hot water. I don't even think I need coffee. I feel I already feel kind of jacked up. So I got my grounds, and I'm just putting it in my coffee pot, just pouring it in there. Boom. That's it. My water is boiling. Dun, dun, dun. But you don't want to use boiling water. So bring your water up to a boil, then take it off the heat, and leave it alone for a minute. A minute, literally? A minute, just a minute. It's 
408. We'll be back at 409. Boom, so now it has been one minute. Okay. So, brought it to a boil, let it sit for one minute, and now I'm just going to pour it onto my coffee grounds. And you'd already measured out the water. Yeah. So it's okay the, that you the lost right a little. Of water. So right before it gets completely full, I'm going to go ahead and stir it up so that the grounds are mixed with the water completely and I'm not going to have just some floating on top. And then I'm going to pour the rest of the water in there. Boom. Oh, it smells good. And that's all there is to it. Well, not really. Now I'm going to put this on top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set this on top so that, you know, I'm not pushing it down or plunging it. I'm just putting the cap on here so that it'll stay warm because I don't want my coffee to sit around getting cold or cooling down. You know, so I'll put the lid on there right away so it stays warm. So I just got my grounds steeping in my hot water. Four minutes, boom. It's been four minutes. Now all I'm gonna do is slowly push this plunger down. Look at that, how very exciting. You know, you don't wanna do it too fast because you don't wanna agitate stuff. You don't wanna be an agitator. You know, we know what happened to the agitators, you know, during the McCarthy era. Er, er. What are you talking about? Those weren't agitators. They were, they were con that commie was a Witch All right, hunt. come over here. So now, boom, I pressed it all the way down. And then that's it. Now we're ready for our coffee. I got, I got a little dinky cup. Because the smaller your coffee cup is, the fancier the coffee. Ooh, it's very thick. Yeah, we like it dark. Rich. Like I said, you know, Ooh. adjust your water to bean ratio depending on your taste. There is no wrong way. Now, here's another thing that's very important when you're making coffee, especially with French press, whatever. It's not going to stay super warm in here. So if you've got a uh, thermos or carafe or something, go ahead and pour it in there and throw a lid on there. And that way it'll stay hot and it won't get burned. That's the problem with uh, uh, with coffee pots, is they stay on a burner and it makes the coffee bitter and uh, burns it over time. So, so use a carafe, you know, if you have extra French press coffee because it'll keep it warm. How many times am I gonna say that? Plus, you don't want it sitting, you know, on top of these grounds because it's going to uh, steep up, seep up. And it's going to make your uh, your coffee too strong. It's going to, you know, four minutes is all you want to leave uh, the grounds and the water and the coffee and all that together. So boom, we got our coffee, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And that's it, boy. Smooth and delicioso. You know, you'll figure it out. You know, get a coffee press. Get you a French press. Some whole beans. Grind them up. You know, put some hot water in there, boom, 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 and there you go. You're a, you're a barista. You know, have your friends over, you know, put out a little tip jar, and there you go. You're a businessman. I did. I already stirred it. I probably, I probably put too much cream in there for you. It's good still. Huh? What do you mean it's good still? You hadn't put quite as much cream, because it is very strong. Huh? Well, you like it strong. I like you strong, baby. Strong smelling. Oh.